Oh, no, you definitely want to avoid that. Yeah. And the winner is yep. going to be GH. Yeah. Assuming. Alchemist. Ah. And I feel like we've already got the first one coming our way here. I do believe that is indeed a position five Abaddon. This is something I think we haven't seen the whole tournament. There's a lot of there's a lot of surprise, like we saw Sumail do against Somnus earlier on. PPD, they just oh. want to trigger off the shield nice now. They're looking for the extra damage. GH has got it, but not enough. 10 HP and PPD denies himself on the bottom lane. Does not want to give them that first blood. Actually, this is possible. That's why bottom lane, Matumba's already fighting with GH, harassing into Pycat and PPD. They'll pull the entire creep wave along with them. So it'll only be a two for two trade off unless Highcap really wants to commit. That's why they shield him up. GH can't fight back. He doesn't have Shadow Realm available through the tree lines. Chikuchi comes up cooldown. GH has to pop the shrine. It's only just come up and they have the damage. This should be the first blood. GH needs to duke it out. Bramble in one second time. No more stick charges available. Highcap claims the first blood on what has been a very denied off lane. That's enough to make him think twice about initiating. And Matumba wants to go in deep. PPD's really, really low. Can shield up. There's still nine stick charges for Matumba. And GH with the attack. He waited perfectly until the shield exploded. Highcat on Matumba bottom. Bounty runes are about to spawn, so both of them want to be in range to contest. Oh, Highcat misclicked. Oh, God. oh, he wants to grab the rune. In real, real no, 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 no. Without that rune, he can't. Ooh, that's a blunder. So a lot of gold. He claims all of the kill gold as well as the AoE gold on that one. 355. And now you're starting to really move up in the world of net worth. 3,000, the advantage for Team Liquid. He's going for a straight Radiance build. So that Radiance should be up by the 13-minute mark. Matumba in real trouble on bottom still. Doesn't level up that reincarnation. No, now he does. He's got the mana available for it. And a pretty damn big army. They slow him down. Kuro will TP in over. Pinecap made his break to the tree line. And they've got help. CCNC is in the neighborhood. And now, well, with a Kuro Lich. Ulti bounces up to PPD. He will die as well. It reaches far enough. And with a curse crown, CCNC is having a hard time getting away from a tub of it. Just slowed up. GH can no longer help. Pinecap was too much on him. So Shikuchi's oh, down with trees. But GH, he jukes it out. Goes to the right side. Pinecap still got another chance. Because the swarm flies through. It doesn't latch on GH, however. So Shikuchi's down. There's a curse crown. They keep the sun going. Pinecap time lapses off. Before the damage can arrive. And with the bedlam out from GH, Pinecap just has to Shikuchi himself away to the other side of the creep wave to safety. Maybe not all the way. Natama wants to hit him a couple of times, but he is in relative safety. Maybe we see TNT oh, arriving. Avalanche is going to arrive with the top. Pycat and PPD. All three combined together to bring down Matumba. But look at the space. Oh, as well. radiance. He relocated in behind, almost at the tier two tower, looking for the retreating GH. There's also the mental radiance aspect of this, right? You're, you're playing on a big attack. stage. You're playing an important game, and you see a 12 minute radiance on Alchemist. Yeah. If they had that late game as, then yeah, maybe this would be a better position. They could just continue to do what they're doing, which is hunt everybody else. Zion's in trouble. Just came up for a little bit of a ward mission. And Matumba as well as GH just lock in control. PPD, tether away. Zion wants to survive. The Curse Crown's still going to connect. And Kuro will pop him. Oops. Mid lane pressure. As a spray will slow this down. Fortification going to do the same type of thing. Kuro, the chain frost to bounce it down. Chain. And it just continues to work with the catapult against CNC. But he's a tanky enough, is he? Not for concoction. Zai is doing the best he can to keep him alive. But now gets caught in the bramble. It caught two heroes. Now the TP out from 33. He'll have the time because there's no more stuns available. So Tiny as well as Io will pop. Borrow time. DPD's got it. Two seconds until shields up. And he doesn't have that time. But in this case, going for the dagger, realizing, well, I'm actually strong enough to just win fights, so why why wait? 33 found the perfect target. GH was just sitting in the tree lines. It's only a level one Dragon Tail stun, but it was enough. And the, the optic gaming lineup, do they do they have the do they have the oomph to get anyone they, down? Well, they maybe they try it now. The Observer Ward saw Miracle, and with the swarm on top, and Miracle's losing armor real quick. Puts down the acid spray, but they bring down the beast. Biggest kill on the map. Oh, uh, my control is ready to fight on bottom lane. But Tumbakura, GH, they're all coming in. The bottom tower should be taken. They see 33 over in the tree lines. He'll need a shutter blade right now if he's going to survive. And he is invis. They're revealing with the dust. PPD is turning around. A photic shield gives him a little bit more life to begin with. They get hit by the bramble two times over. And that's already triggered his borrow time. So DK will fall. A baton will follow through. And Team Liquid, tier two tower is gone. And maybe more. Zai, so low on life. The Radiance Burn got him. The acid spray was ticking it. And Miracle just walks by when a team can go with that kind of net worth per minute. But having the Alchemist this big, these BKBs will allow Optic to survive, but it will not allow them to kill. And they're TPing over. 
The Dyer scanning up. Pycat wanted to know it was going to be safe, trying to get into the back lines as the front lines attack. The swarm is really good. His mind control, his Kuro, and that's why CCMC focused him. Kakox is done into the rear. They're looking for the kill on Zai, able to claim it. So there goes the medic, and then reincarnation. Wraith King gets back to the world of the living. The Bramble, it won't catch anyone from Optic. Neither does it terrorize two huge whiffs, and Optic have an opportunity with these control factors gone and chemical rage timing out. Optic will look to turn this. They've already managed to nuke down GHC, CNC, sacrificing himself to do this. With none of that burst damage, Optic just have to stay inside their base and fight illusions. They can't even fight the real stuff. Toby, you gotta keep uh, keep your eyes on it, man. That thousand. My eyes are watching. We're, all, we're almost there. I'm watching mid lane. Zai comes in. He's trying to think he's under the cover of Blumicate, but the Sentry Ward was already down from Liquid, and oh. it is the ultimate trap. Mind Control, a miracle combo with the rest of Liquid. Five heroes mid, ready to push. Holding this without Dragon Knight, it's really difficult. He's going to have to buy back if they want to try to defend these middle barracks. Yeah. They might just be giving them away. Dragon Knight buying back when he's this close to BKB is really, really annoying. Miracle hunting for another kill. PPD, is this going to be your ninth death of the game? Technically, it'll be the 11th. Two of them were on his terms. Miracle, Chemical Rage. He's trying to taunt his way out. There's only got another two, three seconds left on it. So he'll run back out through the mid. The, ta the tower is gone. So they can attack into the shrines if they want to. It's the toss back. They're getting Miracle in real, real deep. The drop is oh, perfect. And without the Aegis Immortal, with it being timed out, Miracle can be brought down. Matumba's trying to help him out by coming in closer. The Pi Cat runs through him. A huge kill. 703 gold worth of a kill. And they're charging forward. CCNC with a stun. Great thing. He's got 21 charges. Does he want to burn it? Does he want to try and come back to the world of the living? Maybe not, because 33 can't even run away. He'll dodge the stun into the Shadow Realm, and he did actually burn the the reincarnation. So Mind Control turns around, trying to take the fight. Zai, oh my god, this is not what he wants to be in. And Mind Control, he could have got the double kill. Miracle opened up. Beautiful and just bait. brought down Pycat. You thought it was Optics fight for a moment. Beautiful bait. He buys back, has the boots of travel, comes in. Miracle with a great plan play. They had a lot of time to plan this as well, Liquid. Keep it in mind, that kill on the Wraith King took so long that they could communicate, all right, if they overcommit, oh, I can buy back and come back It's a in. bait. It's an ultimate bait. It's just the illusion. Now the real team of Team Liquid come through. 33, he did break the smoke almost instantly, thanks to the fact that he was there. Miracle, he got a play, But they're jumping over. Miracle, he jumps in close, but then the space created with Terrorize and Chain Frost. All the damage that Team Liquid need to win this fight. Pycat 33, they just don't have the extra teammates. Pycat he oh. wants this kill, but he can't even claim Miracle. Denied, denied, denied. Pycat into the trees. They'll get the stun out. And Optic, they're all dead. Tribute, LD. It takes some confidence to go in there as Alchemist without ulti. You really need to trust in your team. No! They call it 984. They call it. He's so close to getting it, but it won't happen. The Team Liquid have it. Game one against Optic Gaming. It looked close, it looked good, but this Alchemist was a ticking time bomb that exploded yeah. on Optic. What are they looking for? Optic gaming. Uh, Ursula. 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 Okay. Of so, course. The... Huh. so that's the lane that they want to get the PL versus the Batrider. For Optic Gaming, it's already the aggression of Kuro rolling oh, nice up. It's actually blocked by Zai. He's doing a lot of damage to GH. PP is not much more to give apart from his life. The Nova does connect, but GH already beginning his sound. They've taken so much damage. Yeah, they've done first blood. If they can get more, the Earthshock comes in from Miracle, remember he went that level 1, but 33 death pulse chasing him into the tree line. They need a little bit more damage, a little bit more reveal. The attack keeps the armor low from Zai, and with the Nova, the slowdown Miracle finds the kill. The thing I talked about last game with this Liquid team that they have... Oh, the trouble oh, for Zai. Koro and Miracle opening up on him. Zai beginning the TP, and TP out! Ooh. Bottom lane 2. Yep, they're going out. Multiple targets, Pycat. Bottom lane again, fire flies up. They really and... just want to keep going every time the fire's there. Great kick from GH buying more time. PPD with a three sticky napalm charges on him. But Pycat, maybe he can get a revenge and he will onto mind control. For Optic in that bottom lane. We haven't even really looked. Okay, we can look towards top lane as this is just a simple initiation go throughout as well as the bump. But that's why you've got that Earth Shock slow down 33. One more fist pump would do it. But 33, the move is made with the dead pulse. Miracle's real, real low. But he has the damage required to get the kill. Zai doesn't have the vision. Miracle. You can actually die up here now that 
Liquid, no. Oh, oh. they found Peter. PPD. Oh, oh, Peter. Well, this is a chance for the Malcolm Ward, especially when GH can land that three-man kick. Mind Control has the fire right on top of him. They're going to kill up GH in return, but he gets... Really? He actually gets the silence off. Doppelganger out. Mind Control, that just saw him down. Zai already had three sticky napalm charges on him. PPD will arrive. He's got Frostbite available, but he just can't close the distance. Pycat needs to slow down Mind Control with the lands to then bring PPD closer. But even then, it's 276 versus 277 movement speed. Phantom Lancer is good against Batrider, but this exchange of just the supports being in the lane made this food for this dual lane. Zai looking to try and engage. 33 is really close to level 6, but he's too far off. He needs more creeps to die. So now the attack comes in from Miracle. Ghost Shroud is still available, but he's already burned his stick charges and doesn't have Death Pulse up just yet. So Kuro keeps the vision up as, uh, well, Miracle wants to salve and get back into the fight. But level 6 is there, but there's no mana for the Reaper. Yeah, side. The Prophet has to come back in again. Miracle just can't try and get away from these treants, but then the stun is there from Kuro. Zai's arriving. Sprout, can he actually lock up Kuro? The distance decides it's up. Kuro won't die to this. Maybe the last attack. It is there from 33. The regeneration gets to arrive. That's why he pops up the Ghost Ride. A miracle losing armor with that burst damage. Ooh, almost bringing down Zai, but it's a big kill for 33. Two of them, in fact. Two. Yeah, bottom lane though, Mind Control's looking for the kill. Land Flash, you have Lasso up and running. PL needs to be able to doppelganger away. Rolling Boulder, they kept the control going so long. And PPD, mercy, mercy, mercy. It's playing this very well. Has a good read on what's going on. Rolling Boulder in, they're looking for a double. Kick is going to not be there. They turn on the magnetizer and said, oh, the kick is still there. CCMC can't escape from this. Toss was still on cooldown. Sakura swapping Zai back into the fight. And then the perfect body block and control. And Tubberman's been keeping up, but now he's ahead. Number one of the net worth with those two kills. Two BKB, your first or second life. Bottom lane attacks coming in. They need to get that stun control and then follow up with the Reaper's side. But Mind Control hasn't taken enough damage just yet. He's so damn tanky with the one charges too. They'll get the lasso out. So Tiny just has to remain for a moment. And they swap inside. No escape for him. He's not even beginning his TP. He just remains stationary. How is anyone going to die? When yeah, you... there are oh, cap initiated one. on CC and three throws the tree in him. He doesn't actually blink to go for the avalanche toss. In fact, he's defusled up. Matumba turns around for the fight. So now the avalanche toss will arrive, but Necro has to help defend. A response out of a hero, and he forces the TP. That's die. good enough. Well, here comes CC and C. Avalanche and toss. They'll combo and together mid. nicely to get it's the kill. It's a bigger kill, though. Yeah, it's uh, problematic. You'll set the up. It's his defensive one. We'll just swap to the other side of the map. And they will grab at least one here, maybe two, we'll see. Three top lane. TPs up towards the top lane. ES came into the tier two tower. Kuro will arrive with mind control. No blink dagger available, so lands from Pycat. Tried to slow him down, but he doesn't have doppelganger. 33 can't really save him. Prophet's coming in through the rear. The lasso and drag Pycat down. Now he's not got doppelganger available. The kick and silence is pretty good from GH, but there's a lot more support arriving in from Optic. GH in the tree line. They'll take anything they can for CCNC once more. Avalanche and toss onto Miracle, but CCNC interrupted by the magic missile. Of Kuro, Miracle just has to enrage and TP out, and somehow GH is still running away from Pycat, all the way up on the north. 33 can't find his own target, maybe with the Yor Scepter, they can bring down Kuro. Reaper Scythe is still available, finally the kill happens up on the top. Liquid heavily split, but Mind Control's not done yet, the Flame Break on the 33. He'll go Shroud and get that regeneration outside, finishes up the tower, Mind Control still can't get closer. However, maybe when PPD is this slow, they can actually do it. He has to Frostbite and run to the side, Z cnc has got combination available. DPD will finally drop, and they just want to leave the Reaper Scythe on the bottom. They find the kill onto Matumba. A huge kill down for so long. This is pretty dangerous if he just goes up the high ground here. Comes over, goes out to CCNC. Avalanche and Toss will kill off his army with the Wrath of Nature. Matumba just turns on the Insatiable Hunger Pike. That's a bit crazy. Underneath the shrine. He doesn't want to commit for this, but he will when there's extra support. My control's got Blink and PPD. Not again, not like this. He's going to be jumped. Lasso back. And the Crystal Maiden is mauled! Where's everybody else? Yep. And they're and getting the trade off in the meantime. 33 pushing oh, out this bottom lane like he wants to get out of here. Zai will die, and 33 won't have to take the same sacrifice. The rest of the time, it's making sure PL has that space to farm oh, up. They need to get bigger. CCNC does get initiated on supporters nearby, but they are not going to help him out. CCNC can do the avalanche toss and hurt Matumberman, but you hurt him, but you don't kill him. He's still got the Aegis. Instant movement. 33 is on bottom lane. They're Doris pushing, up, pushing up the other side lane, and they do find a big... Uh, and how cold is it going to be? PPD. Oh, that's cold. That's real cold. PPD just gets exploded again. 
43 seconds down. Blink lasso, big target. They caught out 33. There needs to be some kind of save. So you can see, and see where is the extra help. The swap back. They just keep going one by one. Luckily, there's a lot more pie cat where that came from. Chasing up the Kuro, burning up the mana. Pie cat now has to use the mana star, but he waited. So then the defuser blade follow up is up. Pie cat does not have buyback available. Necro is used here. Miracle has burned the BKB. Now you may have taken the top tier two tower and dies been reaching the tier three tower on top, but you are losing your mid if you're optic. And who wants to come back to defend this? Zai's already beginning his TP out, and it's Mind Control who sent back for defense. They don't care. Miracle and Matumba will be happy to continue this fight. That was the one lasso they needed. The exact target at the exact time. Mind Control just waited for it patiently. Yours. When's Necro coming in? Send him up, bring him back down again. Remember, there's still the Aegis Immortal on Matama, but Avalanche, can he toss him back in? No! The silence is up! And CCNC, the triple kick! GH! G God! So good! Triple kill for Miracle! They're gonna look for the Ultra! This will be a die back on 33! Wait for the inevitable! <laughs> Matama is just a beast! Miracle will take the Ultra kill, and that really is probably the game. They're in fact doing it. GG call, it's gonna come out and just a bit as the GG pushes up. Pycat is the sole defender for Optic Gaming, and there is no way he can hold back the horde. Liquid just looks so good, man. They're making all these super good decisions with which heroes they put where, how they play their lanes, how they move around, spell casting, everything's on point. They look in really good shape, honestly. Yeah, that's GG. That's it. Team Liquid have done it to pop it out for game two. They belong to them, and so does top six. They are the defending champions, and they are playing champion-level Dota. They made it look easy, this game, I gotta say. This oh, time... Yeah. yeah, but then he got like three four-man kicks as well, every yeah. single time. Yeah. GH was all good. across the map, and that's gonna feel good for Team Liquid. A terrific start to their TI8 campaign here in the playoffs. They're able to get the victory in the quarterfinals. Now they're top six at TI8. Congratulations then to Team Liquid. They are the reigning champions.